What if everything around us could produce its own energy? This is Sunna, a solar-powered light that captures, stores and produces light by itself. Hang Sunna in front of a window. During the day, it harvests sunlight. And in the evening, it brings light into your home. My name is Marianne van Abel. I'm a solar designer based in Amsterdam. I integrate solar technology into our daily environment in objects such as tables and windows so they become autonomous and harvest their own energy. I would like to change the perspective on solar technology and add a more emotional value through design. Together with a team of skilled designers and engineers, we created Sunna. Sunna turns itself on automatically at dusk. It has three different settings, sunrise, daylight and sunset. Simply tap on it to change the settings. We are planning to develop an app that tells you how much light is coming in, see the battery level and change the light settings. This project started through a fascination with solar design. One hour of sunlight produces the total energy consumption needed for everyone on the planet for an entire year. There is so much potential, but we still see solar as a technology, when actually producing energy can be beautiful and well-made. For Sunna, we developed the solar panels together with ECN TNO, which is the energy center of the Netherlands. We designed custom electronics and an integrated solar charger and battery. We produced extremely efficient solar panels that are able to function indoors and we have extensively tested them. Sunna is the first of a series of products. By supporting us, we will be able to produce the first Sunnas. We would love you to be part of our journey by backing up our project. Together, let's make this happen and create a future where everything would be self-sufficient and beautiful. At the moment we're in the uh, module laboratory at TNO in Petten, where we make uh, various solar modules. TNO solar uh, yeah, mottos is ubiquitous solar, so we want to put solar on every surface, we want it everywhere. Not just on roofs, not just on fields, but on all sorts of objects. We use uh, back contact technology it's called. And so we have a uh, copper foil and that has a pattern in it and that provides the uh, connection, the electrical connection to the solar cells. So we have a back contact foil, then we have a layer of uh, a polymer layer which isolates the foil from the cell except where we've put openings in the, in the polymer. And then we put the cells on that polymer with a uh, conductive adhesive, so it's an electrically conductive glue that we glue the solar cells onto the foil with. And then there are two more layers that go on top of the solar cell or solar module to protect it from the weather and from everything. And then that is fed into the laminator, which you see in the background, which um, is under pressure and heated and it glues the whole sandwich together so that you've got a solid solar panel. It's been very interesting for us because it's an application that is new to us. So we have to develop um, yeah, new methods, processing methods to uh, be able to produce the required uh, solar panels, so the solar panels that are needed for Mayan's art objects. <laughs>